Now, if you're just getting into the world of military surplus or you've been living in it for quite a while, uh, you'll, you'll hear the term numbers matching or parts matching, uh, things like that. Uh, so I just wanted to do a real quick uh, video showing why that uh, matters, when it's not really that important, and where uh, these numbers can usually be located. So let's take a look at a, a basic demilled uh, AK parts kit. So for this kit, we've uh, started out here with the front trunnion, uh, which will have your full serial number stamped on the left side. Uh, at this point, you'll want to take a look at the rest of the kit, uh, go through all the different parts, and uh, look to the typical locations where you'll find stampings, and look for the last four of that serial number. If it uh, matches on all the parts that are typically stamped, then you can call this kit or this rifle a numbers matching kit. So next up, we've got our uh, gas tube on the front uh, handguard, and it'll usually be stamped on the underside of that. Then we've got our uh, bolt carrier group, and you'll find it stamped on the left side typically. And then on the bolt itself, it's usually on that rounded surface uh, right behind the leading edge. Now, why does this matter at all, honestly? Um, it's a rifle, you know, or it's a parts kit. Uh, the big part comes down to value. Uh, if you have a parts kit with all the numbers matching, uh, that's going to add to the price. Uh, it's going to make it a more valuable kit, more sought after. Uh, the reason being is most people want uh, as original as they can get on military surplus. So if all the numbers match, you know that parts kit was at one point a complete rifle as it, as it was you know, from the factory. Um, and then they just demilled it for importation. Uh, also, the other added benefit, which is a huge one to me, is basically all these parts have typically worn in. So they've gone through uh, usage cycles and slowly worn into each other. So you know that that rifle was mated together with all those parts and uh, it was functional uh, when you have a parts kit with mismatched pieces sometimes the wear in process can cause tolerances to go farther out of spec than you really want and here we've also got it stamped on the side of the recoil spring rod also on the rear of the dust cover as pictured just a second ago uh, you may also find it uh, stamped on some of the smaller parts such as the safety lever itself uh, usually can be found in that flat spot there now, if you can't find a kit uh, that's completely numbers matching down to even the small parts, uh, the big ones to work with or to look for are basically your bolt and your bolt carrier group. Uh, those are going to be the most important ones as far as functionality of the rifle. Um, things like the rear, uh, rear sight ladder, uh, the leaf and all that, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's nice to have. Well, I hope you appreciated the quick walkthrough on what numbers matching means, uh, when it's valuable, and basically where you can... I typically find the serial number stamped throughout the uh, AKM example we have here. So basically, uh, you know, kind of an overview is if you're looking for uh, a parts kit or a collectible rifle, uh, you really want to look for a numbers matching one when you can. Uh, you know that rifle is as close to how it was when it was created uh, as possible. All those parts have already worn in together, uh, so you know the performance is going to be there. It's going to be an easier kit to build off of. And uh, it's going to be more collectible and more sought after, you know, as far as the uh, value goes. Now, if you're looking for just a shooter, uh, just to have an example of whatever platform you're into, uh, numbers matching isn't really vital. As long as it's had some wear, it's, uh, you know, the parts have been used together for a while and the tolerances are still, you know, as they should be. And the rifle functions fine. That's really all you, all you need to know. Uh, as long as you've got some good barrel life left in it, um, just shoot it and enjoy it. I uh, hope you appreciated this. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to uh, put them in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe and uh, look forward to the next content coming out.